Hello, hello. So nice to meet you again, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you. I'm very fine. Very fine. Pleasure to be here. Your Excellency, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, Honorable Minister Fleuris, Honorable Minister Gurgadis, Honorable Minister Kikilias, all my close friends, Alternate Minister Dr. Gaga and Deputy Minister Madame Rapti, ladies and gentlemen. Kalimera Sas. It is such an honor to be with you today in Athens. And Excellency Prime Minister was telling that this is his first public function now in public. So I cannot be more honored really as a WHO Regional Director for Health because this is the proof that health is at the top of the political agenda in the country, which I am taking with me country after country speaking to heads of government. This is my first visit to Greece of 2022. However, my fourth visit in the last 12 months. For many years, Greece has been a steadfast and vital partner for WHO in the European region. The office we are inaugurating here in Athens today is a concrete and highly visible expression of that partnership. Looking around me at these magnificently renovated facilities, I want to express my heartfelt thanks to you. Prime Minister Mitsotakis, I will start by thanking the government of the Hellenic Republic of Greece for its partnership and generosity. I know that improving the quality of healthcare in Greece has been a priority for your government. With your hosting of the Center of Excellence, the WHO Europe Quality of Care Office, Greece is positioned to lead improvements in the quality of care across the whole region. Minister of Health, Mr. Pleuvris, you and your predecessor, Dr. Kikilias have been at the forefront of improving quality of care in Greece and adamant supporters of this office. I thank you so much for your unparalleled support and wise guidance. But the roots of this office go back a long way. I cannot overstress the long-standing collaboration and strong ties WHO has formed WHO Europe with the Greece Ministry of Health. These stretch back to 2013. And our engagement with Minister of Development and Investment, Mr. Adonis Georgiadis, who was then Minister of Health. Last, but by no means least, I want to thank Dr. Breda and his team of international experts, as well as my advisor for Greece, Dr. Theodorakis, who reminds me every single day how important Greece is for my mandate. And of course, also Dr. Natasha azabardi maskat our excellent director of country health policies and systems. To each and all of you, I say, Efkaristopoli. The new facilities we inaugurate today are much needed to help the office deliver our future ambitions and make good on the promise of the European Program of Work to prioritize mental health. But the WHO team here start its work in 2021, already delivered impressive results. It initiated technical collaboration with countries including, but not only, Albania, Malta, Montenegro, North Macedonia, the Republic of Moldova, and Tajikistan. It has established networks of partners, including individual scientists and experts, as well as institutions and centers. And it has decisively contributed to two highly impressive events in 2021, both of which were important contributions to our work in the whole European region. Number one, the Mental Health Summit in July. This reinforced the scope and foundation of the Pan-European Mental Health Coalition. And we had there the honor to have the Prime Minister himself. And in December, the meeting of minds on quality of care. But perhaps its biggest achievement is the new program we are here to launch today. And let me tell you how it started. In April 2021, when we held a startup event of the team, I was invited to meet Prime Minister Mitsotakis. I vividly recall being in your office, Excellency, in the Maximus Mansion, when the Prime Minister said to me, quote, Dear Hans, we should give priority to the mental health of our society, especially our children and adolescents, unquote. The Prime Minister was concerned about the impact on mental health of the COVID pandemic, particularly children and adolescents. Well, Prime Minister, we listen to your advice and we are ever grateful for your support. Thanks to the great support of Deputy Minister Zoe Rapti, today I can announce the launch of the Pan-European Programme on quality of mental health services for children 
and adolescents. This will support all 53 countries in the WHO European region in strengthening the mental health services they offer to these groups. Actually, I was telling to Excellency Prime Minister in the elevator that I came from Istanbul, where we build a new vision on health for migrants and refugees with political leaders, UN, migrant communities, all over the three continents. And for the first time, three region directors, European region, African region, Middle East. I announced what we're going to launch today, and I can tell you there is interest from the other regions as well. So the ambitions are high. It will support countries as they recover from the COVID pandemic. It will help them mitigate and reduce the long-term damage this pandemic has done to mental health. My friends, it is a shocking fact. But in 2015, there were over 4,000 suicides among the 10 to 19-year-olds in our region. Suicide is the leading cause of death in this age group in the low- and middle-income countries in our region and the second leading cause in this group in high-income countries. Ensuring that all children and adolescents in our region have access to quality mental health service is a moral imperative. These are life-saving services every bit as much as childhood vaccination or pediatric care. And when we talk about universal health coverage, quality of care must always be part of the conversation. If healthcare is bad quality, it can be dangerous. There is no universal health coverage without quality. Two sides of the same coin. Your Excellency Mr. Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, dear colleagues, providing high quality mental health service to children and adolescents is not just the right thing to do, it is a wise investment. 50% of all mental health problems in adulthood have their onset during or before adolescence. Preventing and limiting mental health problems in today's youngsters will lead to better mental health in adulthood. As Hippocrates said 2,500 years ago, Kathy nosos ksekinai apotin psychi. Every disease starts from the soul. So we too have unite our forces to strengthen exactly what everything begins from. Our mental health and well-being, especially for our children and adolescents who form the catalyst of hope for the future of our planet and generations to come. I thank you once again for your invaluable support. Efgaristopoli. Dr. Kluge, um, ministers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, um, today, dear Hans, I'm particularly happy for three reasons. Uh, the first is that uh, I'm back at work uh, <laughs> after uh, having spent uh, a week in isolation at uh, home with minimal symptoms. Uh, I can assure you, from personal experience that vaccines do work uh, and that they do keep us safe and that they prevent us uh, from getting seriously sick uh, from a virus that continues to be um, uh, particularly dangerous. And uh, it is indeed uh, fitting that my first uh, uh, public uh, event is coinciding with uh, this very important day, very important day for the WHO, um, its uh, um, uh, regional um, uh, presence uh, in Europe, very important day um, uh, for Greece and for uh, our healthcare uh, team. I mean, the official uh, opening of the WHO regional uh, office on quality of care. I would uh, like to take this opportunity to thank all those uh, who contributed towards making uh, this a reality, starting from uh, Minister Yuriadis, who first um, established this relationship with the WHO back in 2013 uh, during very difficult times. Uh, um, uh, Minister uh, Kikilias, uh, um, Minister Plevris, uh, um, Alternate Minister uh, Gaga, uh, Deputy Minister uh, Rapti, our Secretary uh, Generals who are with us here, Dr. Theodorakis, this is a very important um, uh, day for Greece and I'm sure that uh, uh, dear Hans, you would not have been here as WHO if you were not uh, uh, convinced about our vision, not just to support this office, but to implement the best practices uh, as they are being um, um, produced uh, by your wonderful team uh, of experts. Uh, as we uh, emerge uh, uh, from the pandemic, uh, we have an uh, obligation, obligation to Greek citizens to further strengthen our national health care system, uh, to make it more resilient, <coughs> and to make sure that uh, we place a particular emphasis on quality of care. You know the work we've done in terms of uh, setting up a specialized organization to measure quality of care. And I do want to stress the word measure 
uh, because uh, what uh, cannot be measured uh, cannot be properly uh, evaluated and hence cannot be properly uh, improved. The pandemic highlighted the strengths but also the weaknesses uh, of our national um, uh, health uh, uh, system. I want to pay a tribute to the phenomenal work that was done by all our healthcare professionals during uh, particularly um, difficult uh, um, uh, times. Uh, we all uh, struggled over um, uh, two years uh, with an unknown uh, enemy, and uh, we're not completely done yet. Um, uh, and uh, we need to uh, think about living with COVID in the long term, what this will mean for our vaccination policies um, uh, come the fall. Uh, what does this mean in terms of our uh, basic, uh, uh, basic precautions? Uh, uh, but uh, COVID also highlighted uh, uh, the fact that, unfortunately, uh, in Greece, and we have to be very honest here, the quality of uh, health care, uh, unfortunately, is not equitable. Um, uh, and uh, that is one of my main concerns. I want to make sure that uh, in Greece, regardless of where you live, regardless of whether you have access to a regional hospital or a top university hospital in one of our big cities, that we have uh, uniform standards regarding um, uh, quality uh, of care. This, of course, means that we uh, look at uh, health care as a continuum, starting from uh, public health and prevention, moving to primary care, where we are uh, initiating a very important reform, uh, looking again at the way um, our hospitals function, um, uh, and look at post-hospital uh, uh, post uh, care. Uh, we have uh, very, very ambitious uh, uh, goals, and we want you to be partners uh, in this uh, in this uh, uh, effort. Uh, we are big believers, as I told you, in evidence-based um, public policy, and we're here to break down silos, uh, vested interests, uh, uh, and all those who do not look at healthcare from the perspective of the end user. And the end user um, is a citizen uh, who deserves better healthcare, especially in this complicated post-pandemic world. And of course, the third reason why I'm very happy uh, is because uh, you took note of what I told you uh, in, in, in our meeting and you are launching here uh, a, a regional program which I'm sure will be expanded also beyond the European region um, regarding uh, uh, best practices for mental health for children and adolescents. Uh, this is an area I deeply uh, uh, care about. Uh, children and adolescents are the, um, the most vulnerable parts of our uh, society. We do not talk uh, enough in Greece about mental health in general. We talk even less so when it comes to the mental health uh, of our children and of our teenagers. We need to break down these stigmas, these uh, uh, taboos, and make sure that in this very difficult and, and, and complicated world where we face you know, challenges from, uh, um, uh, you know, from, uh, from bullying to, to, to eating uh, uh, the disorders to issues of identification, to this, you know, our teenagers living in this parallel world of, you know, physical world and the virtual world, that we adapt our mental services to make sure that we offer um, uh, children and, and teenagers the best possible quality when it comes to mental health. So thank you um, uh, for taking note uh, uh, of this uh, uh, recommendation. I'll be following of the progress that you make on this front with great interest. And of course, uh, the ministry knows that it has my full support when it comes to uh, developing innovative policies regarding mental health uh, for the Greek national health system. So um, let me again uh, congratulate all those who have been uh, involved in setting up this office. Uh, I wish you best of luck. Uh, make sure that this is uh, an office that is uh, is creative, but also I'm sure that your team will, will enjoy being in Greece. Um, uh, and uh, um, I, I wish you, you know, a lot of creative uh, um, a policy um, uh, making that will benefit not just Greece, but uh, you know, the region and why not the whole world. Uh, it would be great if this work uh, starts uh, out of Greece. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank